Welcome, this is the inaugural edition of the new video travel podcast series here on YouTube for TheExpeditioner.com. If you're unfamiliar, The Expeditioner is an online travel magazine. My name is Matt Stabile. I'm the founder, editor-in-chief, chief benefactor, marketing officer, uh, intern sometimes <laughs> for the site. Uh, I'm starting this new series up. I'm gonna be interviewing uh, travelers from around the world, people who've been to different places, experiences around the world. Uh, my first guest today is Alex Bregman. We go back a couple of years now. She's a former contributor. Welcome. Thanks for coming on. Former contributor. Whoa. Well, you know, maybe continuing. <laughs> see how the interview goes. Uh, if you want to follow and get more information, follow uh, at The Expeditioner for our Twitter feed. TheExpeditioner.com is the uh, site name. Go to the YouTube channel and subscribe and leave comments there. I don't have a title yet for the show. Uh, I've got a few I've been batting around. I'll mention those right now. These are the ones I came up with in about two minutes before you showed up, Alex. Saturday Matt Live, Eat, Pray, Matt interview. Kind of leaning towards that. Uh, Charlie Rose, I think that's taken, so I think I'm gonna scratch that. What about Eat, Interview, Matt? Uh, yeah, that prayer. sounds, yeah, like cannibalistic, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Matt Adore, that was yours, Alex. No reservations, actually table for two. I don't know if Bourdain's going to let us have that one. And An Idiot in Brooklyn, kind of a takeoff of travel show. And because we're in Williamsburg, girls, colon, man. I'm obviously the man. So Alex, I wanted to bring you on the inaugural episode here because I was recently in India and I know you had spent a good time uh, there as well. So tell me, uh, what were you doing there? Well, when I recently had graduated from college, I wasn't totally satisfied with the employment experience of 2011, 2010. So my college career development office had been looking out for me. They were amazing, Smith College, amazing. And they knew of this Indian painter who needed an intern in the middle of New Delhi. They threw me this bone because they knew I'd been searching and I, I just reveled in the adventure and I took it. Cool. So they set you up with like a house, the job, everything. You just bought a ticket and went? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. The artist had promised me accommodations, a job, meals even. And I just, like I said, I had nothing to lose at the time. It was a really great feeling. So when I was there, I just got back about three weeks ago. I did kind of the eastern part of the country. So I was in Calcutta and I kind of worked my way west from there and i did basically an hour layover in new delhi <laughs> actually i should say it was more than, it was like six hours you but left I was able the to, airport yeah like i you know I, I had a very short window of time but that like going to india is like such a culture shock i mean i've, I've been to other parts of asia africa whatnot when you get to india it's like 100 percent different than what you're used to so so what was your experience in, in that respect um that's a really good question because I think it often provokes a very similar answer. You know, the cliches of crazy, crazy traffic and totally humid and, you know, cows on the road, like that was shocking. Yeah, and I, I think you, you kind of like point to those things that I'm definitely I noticed and people point out like, I've never sweated as much in my life <laughs> yeah, I mean. as I did in <laughs> India. You know, you smell a lot of things, you see a lot of things, you see a lot of traffic. You know, there's people everywhere. I've never been around that many mass, that mass of humanity before. But at the same time, I got back to New York and I like missed that. I, all of a sudden, like, you know, you kind of forget humanities around you. When you're in India, you see it firsthand. It's in your face. And I kind of missed that when I got back. I don't know. Did you feel the same way? Like, did you get used to it? And then when you left it, you're like, wow, this is really odd now. Yeah, I even talked to friends about it because when you get accustomed to that pace on the street and the noise level, you start to just think of it as how people are. And yeah, New York seems like a little quiet town after that. Right, like what, like I can't walk 30 seconds to get coffee, food, you know, a snack, see a dog, pet a cow, all within like yeah, that short amount of time. Yeah, don't pet the dog, right? Uh, yeah, you can't do that, <laughs> even in New York, it's a big city, you can't do that. And like, you miss those things, you know? I think uh, on a more abstract level, talking about that, that interconnectivity is really the best way to rationalize it. That people are connected. You can't walk down the street, get your Starbucks, not talk to anybody, come back home. It's like you see people, you yeah. dodge a dog, you see the cow, you know yeah. where you're going, you people know, like it's just like so much more involved, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. So given the amount of time you spent in Delhi, do you have some recommendations for uh, things to see or places to check out while you're there? Uh, sure, well, Con Market, 
very laid back, very high end at the same time. It's a good place for an expat who's accustomed to, you know, just like typical fineries of an expensive meal or like some good shopping. So that's a nice place when you've been around and you need to take a breather. Uh, who minds too? My guess, mm. a wise man once told me that Obama visited right. there. Uh, as well as me, yeah. Oh yeah, all the greats have been there. Um, great muggle her heritage and yeah. uh, really just beautiful. It's kind of like, it looks almost like a mini Taj Mahal basically. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. It's, it's very different architecturally, but it's definitely from a similar uh, historical Era. richness, yeah. Uh, yeah. if you will. And then something I particularly loved was riding on the backs of scooters. Like I would nice. go yeah. back to Delhi just to ride on a scooter through the street. I actually kind of did do that. And <laughs> it was so much fun. Like, you know, no helmet, weaving through this wild traffic at really yeah. fast speeds. This is exactly what your parents wanted you to be doing. It was a parent's video. nightmare. I yeah. don't think they even know that I did that. So if they watch this, yeah. they will know. Sounds great. Uh, I loved it. I mean, one time we like rode, uh, uh, we just rode through Connaught Place. It's like a really big boulevard. And then to go from like these weaving roads onto these big boulevards and these crazy loops, it was just so much fun. Yeah, sounds awesome. Uh, makes you want to go back. Uh, thanks for coming in, Alex. This is awesome. Uh, once again, if you want more information, check out theexpeditioner.com. Make sure to check out our Twitter feed at The Expeditioner. We're still looking for a title. I don't know, maybe we'll come up with something later on. Uh, at the barbecue. Um, so subscribe and leave some comments here at the YouTube channel. Uh, for now, I'm Matt Stabile and uh, thanks for watching.